welcome back to the sewing room. It is the 1st of June today and I have changed over my calendar girl's outfit. First day of the month so my girl gets a new outfit. I have absolutely loved May's outfit, totally, totally would wear that. June, ooh, June is pretty too and uh, yeah, I'd wear that as well. You guys haven't seen her for a while. The actual wardrobe didn't arrive until the nearly the beginning of February then the calendar girl herself was packed away for quite a while as well but yes I very much liked May's outfit would totally wear that and June's outfit's really cute as well so glad that she's out I think I finally worked out where she's going to live as well that's she, <laughs> there isn't really a good spot for her but the bedside table I think works so that's good I have finished hand sewing all of the bits on the Butterick 6224 and Vogue 9357 mashup I really really like this this is the kind of belt that I was talking about wearing with those other dresses like a really thin skinny one it might work with this better because it's got this is a loud print I haven't tried it with the other dresses yet because I haven't worn the blue one and the pink one. <laughs> the skirt is doing crazy things over there. It's dropped nearly five inches on one side. Fun times. This is the sort of like little skinny belt that I was talking about wearing with those ones. And again, I haven't tried it yet so I don't know if it's going to work for me or not. But my initial reaction is always like, stick a belt on it. <laughs> As I mentioned yesterday when I finished this, the reason that I have been persevering with this silhouette for so long is because I can get it out of three yards of quilt and cotton so narrow fabric which I have a lot of cuts in of that in my stash because when I first started buying fabrics I would buy three yards of it generally from fabric.com or Etsy if it's a non-directional print like this one I can get this dress out of three yards of fabric which is why I've persevered with this silhouette for the for as long as I have because it's a, it's got a nice full skirt without being like fabric hungry I really like the bodice on it I think it fits me really well I can wear it with my cardigans I have had my pink cardigan on again today <laughs> when I when I was editing the last set of videos I realized I wore the same cardigan with different outfits for like four days in a row and now I might be doing the same with the pink one <laughs> So I need to kind of try and bear that in mind. But this one would work really well with my green cardigan and my purple cardigan and the pink one that I have. And then I have a light pink one that I've had since I was like 16 that would work with this as well. So I like that I've got lots of options with those. And it's a really nice dress to wear in the, in the heat. It's currently 22 degrees in here and it was... I think it's around 24, 25 outside, but this is a nice one to wear in heat because it's not too thick. Yes, it's high necked, but I don't mind that. And uh, my arms are free, which I prefer. There are gonna be lots of these being made because as I say, I have a giant stack of three yard cuts of quilting cotton in there that are in some amazing prints that I just wanna make up. I miss, I miss my crazy naked lady dresses and yeah but I can't get into those because they're for a 26 inch waist and currently my waist is 28 29 inches so yeah I'm back down in the sewing room I am going to press all of the darts that I have sewn in all of the bodice pieces for the shirt dress and I've got my roll of interfacing out so that I can cut out the interfacing for the collar and facing for this dress and then the two facings for the two shirts that I've cut out as well the dress that I've cut out doesn't need any interfacing so yeah I will be progressing along with everything nicely there'll be no hold-ups for any of the other projects out of the nine that I cut out the other day I'm working on number six and then I'll have three left after that I think I've decided that I would like to try and perfect the trousers but I'm also going to cut out something like, like either maybe this dress possibly another one of these shirt dresses if it works possibly the kittenish behavior grace dress with the ruffled tiered skirt on it but I'm going to cut something out that I know is going to be a success as well as a whole bunch of trouser projects because I did this last year I think last May I kind of started making all these tops and none of them worked out the way that I had hoped that they would and then I got so disheartened that I kind of lost my sojo I ended up making a sew over eve dress to kind of get the sojo back and that worked really really well but I've learned from that that I really ought to try and put some definite wins in with some experiments because if all the experiments fail then I get disheartened so yes lots of trousers I've 
I mean, I don't know if you remember, but in December, maybe December or January, I think it might have been January, I cut out, or no, I traced the Pauline Aris Alice Sorrel trousers, the Lander pants from True Bias, and the Decades of Style Empire waist trousers. I did sew up the Decades of Style, Style ones, and whilst they fit my waist, they were super tight up on my hips again. I think it might, I might need a full butt adjustment because I had gone by the pattern measurements and I should have had ease in at the hips on the Decades of Style ones, and I definitely didn't. I have a plan of attack for those. I'm going to trace the largest size, sew it up, put the zip in and leave the side seams open, put it on and then pin the side seams so that they fit and then I can adjust the pattern accordingly. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that for any of the other ones that I've cut out because they've all got waistbands whereas the decades of style ones don't i think that will be the way forward with those they are a pair that i would really like to make i think if i put giant belt loops on not giant belt loops but if i put like chunky belt loops on like the that are on the mccall skirt that i made that i can't remember the number of off the top of my head but the belt loops from that were epic and i really liked those and i'm thinking if i put those belt loops on the decades of style trousers in denim with some denim like gold top stitching whilst they won't be jeans because they i mean the tra any of the trousers that I'm going to make with that denim are not going to be jeans because the, the the fabric's wrong but I think they would give me the effect that I want so I'm tempted to try that I am tempted to try that I also have the pattern trouser the block the pat the trouser block course from Craftsy by Susie Farah. I know you're meant to start with the skirt block and then the bodice block and the trouser and the sleeve block and then do the trouser block because the trouser block is a the, one of the more complicated ones but I'm kind of tempted to try that and then draft trousers using the patterns that I have so following the style lines from patterns that I have but use use a block that fits me that might be the way forward it might might it might be I don't know I don't know yeah the only trousers that I've really ever made up until this point have all been very very wide legged zip up the back or elasticated back trousers which I love but the ones I have one pair I wore to death Oh, I've made wraparound trousers as well, which I very much love, and it's getting to be the weather that I can wear them again, which is exciting. But yeah, I would like some more tailored trousers, and I have bought, I've got some cashmere suiting, I've got some wool suiting in my stash for some tailored trousers and a waistcoat sets. So I want to make these things. I do want to try these things. I just need to get over my fear of fitting the damn things and getting them to fit me well. Anyway, that's nearly nine minutes of waffles, so I'm gonna get on with some sewing. Then I will show you how I progress with this shirt dress. Let me know, uh, the, the time lapse for the cutting out the fabric was good. I didn't time lapse myself tracing the patterns because that's basically me moving around on a big, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So yeah, I didn't trace myself tracing the, I didn't trace myself. I didn't film myself tracing the patterns because realistically that is just me kind of like drawing things that you can't see on a big white square. But cutting out the fabric, I really enjoyed seeing how that went together and there's a couple of people who asked me why I don't use rotary cutters or that I should use rotary cutters. I just don't like them. I prefer pins and uh, pins and scissors and I have tried rotary cutters and I'm just, it's not natural for me because I've used scissors for so long so that's why I use scissors. So the cutting out the fabric I thought that was quite fun because you could see a big expanse of the fabric and what it looked like so I enjoyed that but have you guys been missing the kind of time lapses of me sewing because I know they're not for everybody whilst it's a really easy thing for me to film speed up and then put into the into the vlogs uh, it's not you know it's not necessarily for everyone so let me know what you think but anyway yes now 10 minutes of waffles so i really am going to shut up and press my darts and cut out some interfacing and then get on with this shirt dress the dress is progressing along nicely the lining went in much as i thought it would i do have to go in and secure the back neck of the collar and i might do that by stitching in the ditch we shall see i also need to stitch the waistband of the lining down because i kind of used at the flat lining method for the skirt because I thought that would work better. But I'm really pleased with how this is coming out. I'm going to go and cook dinner now but I'm going to come back, try it on and then buttons and buttonholes. So it's ever so close to being finished which is exciting. Okay, I have finished, well it's not strictly true, I haven't hemmed this because 
it is a sort of circle skirt so I'm a bit worried that things are going to drop on the bias so the facing isn't sewn all the way down to the hem and neither hem of the outer or the lining is done but I love it I love it so much and I'm so glad because I kind of went a bit rogue with this one and I didn't make a muslin but McCall's patterns fit me really well the finished pattern measurements on the tissue paper gave me confidence that I could get away with not making a muslin this has got the sash on it I really like the sash I would totally wear this with a belt as well I have pockets they're not giant pockets but they are nicely sized pockets I'm really pleased with my notched collar that's come out really nicely as well I've used little square turquoise buttons yeah I've done the it's, it's not quite maxi I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get far enough back for you to be able to see it's not quite maxi but I have done the longest version of the skirt that this one comes with I've also traced the midi version I didn't trace the shorter version because I won't ever wear I wouldn't ever make something that short but I am in love with my new dress this is absolutely gorgeous I have some scrunchies to make up in this fabric and I have another 5895 shirt to make up in this fabric which I'm really pleased about because it's absolutely beautiful this is the Flamingo Habitat Cotton Lawn from Lady McElroy as I think I mentioned the very lovely Nancy bought this for me for a birthday present probably about four years ago now and it's been in my stash for a very long time waiting for the perfect pattern I think this is it I can't believe it's taken me this long to make this this dress I've had it in mind for the longest time now I did actually cut out the short sleeves to go with this dress but they are too tight on me so I need to do a full bicep adjustment on the short sleeves and the long sleeves because I do want to make this dress with both sleeve options as well as sleeveless this dress comes with armhole facings for the sleeveless option but because I fully lined this because the fabric was so sheer I haven't used those the lining went together really easily I think I would probably continue to fully line the bodice of this if I make another sleeveless one or if I make any other one actually even with sleeves on just because it means I don't have to French seam everything <laughs> that's my it's a rod for my own back but I really like clean finishes on the inside of my dresses and as you guys know I don't like overlocking my woven items and that is just a personal preference there is nothing wrong with it I just don't do it and it's because I was so scared of my overlocker for five years it sat there and I never used it so yeah but I am in love with my new dress so I'm gonna add it to the pile back there of things that need their hems to drop and uh, we'll see if it drops and how much it drops and I'm hoping it doesn't but I think it might and if it does I'm just gonna do a narrow rolled hem on the lining skirt lining and then I'm going to finish the outer skirt with bias binding and hand sew that I absolutely love this and there will be many many more of these made which is kind of good because I as you guys know I have a lot of Lady McElroy cotton lawn in my stash and a lot of them were getting made into 8577s I think I've got five Lady, no, four Lady McElroy cotton lawn, eight, five, seven, seven. So I've got six in total. One is a viscose linen from Stitch Fabrics, and the other is my Carline lawn from Liberty. I mean, I love it. I love, 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 love that pattern. And I'm not saying I'm never going to make any more. It's just nice to have another option. So this and the Vogue 9345 shirt dresses. I think there may be a few more of those made over the next few months because yeah I love this and as I say this comes with a long sleeve as well so once I've perfected the fit of the long sleeve and I will make a muslin before I cut any more out <laughs> the um it didn't take too much fabric to cut out the short sleeves for for this so I don't feel too bad about that and I can always get uh, something else I can I, I can use it as like it will go into mum's quilting stash so it's not going to go to waste I will perfect the fit on the sleeves of this maybe even have a look at the Vogue 9077 because those sleeves fit me really well and they have the little tab on them that you can roll them up and button up so I kind of fancy making them in some darker cottons as well because they'd work really well for autumn going into winter with layers underneath so yeah another new dress <laughs> I decided not to start any sort of new big projects I decided to work my way through all the scrunchies that needed white thread so I've got four that match the flamingo habitat 
I've got one that matches the t-shirt and the Gertie dress and then I have two that match this dress. I, like I said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these scrunchies. I'm definitely going to keep one of each. So I think it was Linnea suggested maybe giving, putting them up as Patreon rewards, which I'm definitely up for. I have a whole bunch of Patreon stuff to catch up on and I will be doing that this week. So yeah, I, I don't know. Is anyone interested in these? Which if I put them up in the shop, they wouldn't be very expensive. They don't take very long to make, but yeah. Would anyone be interested in in scrunchies let me know in the comments down below so i am over the moon with how that dress has turned out i think it's absolutely beautiful i'm really pleased with how this one's turned out as well it's been really comfortable to wear it today i think the only alteration that i'm going to make to this one is actually add some neck darts at the back neckline because it is gaping a little bit the original vogue 9357 has neck darts in that back pa back piece of the pattern but this 6244 doesn't and i think i mean it's it's not it's not bad i have quite a rounded back anyway it's not bad but i do think i could make this fit just a little bit better up the top there but you do get into the the sort of realms of overfitting stuff as well so i don't want to do that but i do think that there is a little bit of excess room at the back there so I will put the shoulder darts or the neck darts in for the next one that I make and see how that turns out. It'll probably be and this this bodice will probably be end up being an amalgamation of the 9357 back pieces and the 6244 front pieces but I will see how it goes but I I mean I am not unhappy with this dress I really really like it it's been really nice to wear it today it's been really comfortable so yeah I'm very pleased with that one anyway that's it for today I hope you've enjoyed what I've been up to I hope you like the new dress let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you've made the 6891 loads of you have been telling me that you're going to make it so I highly recommend but if you've already made it let me know because I would be interested to see what you guys have made from that pattern but yeah hope you've enjoyed my day and I will see you all very soon. Bye!